of MOOC initiative in each country, national and MOE policy and strategy, and also the master plan. After that, we will hear from um, Professor Yoshimi on the quality assurance and standard on um, JMOOC, followed by Professor Im. He will also give a talk on the quality assurance and standard of practice based upon KMOOC, and then we will go for lunch. So without further delay, um, I think Dr. Tabni already gave a welcoming speech yesterday. So let's skip to our very first um, presenter today. Uh, may I please invite Professor Dojimi Fukuhara to, to give a talk on the uh, rational and strategy and master plan of the MOOC, please. So good morning, everyone. Uh, let me talk about the, uh, very briefly about the uh, Japan, uh, the uh, some uh, uh, policies of the government uh, and uh, our rationale of the uh, uh, JMOOC. Uh, actually, uh, in Japan, uh, government. Uh, it's not directly uh, conducting the MOOC activity. Uh, so, but uh, related to the uh, uh, ministries, there are the uh, multiple. One is uh, the uh, mixed. Uh, one is uh, the uh, mixed Ministry of Education, uh, Culture, Sports, and Science and Technology. Uh, in short, and the Ministry of Education. And so. As, as <coughs> use. And the other one is the uh, uh, METI, the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry. And the other uh, one, one more, is the Ministry of, uh, uh, for, uh, Ministry of General Affairs. Uh, Ministry of General Affairs are uh, conducting the uh, uh, telecommunication policy in Japan. So uh, three those three ministries uh, uh, have the policy, uh, mostly independent, <laughs> not uh, 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 the uh, uh, related, not uh, the uh, jointly uh, policy, policy not, not very a few joint policy uh, regarding the. Uh, uh, ICT uh, utilizing uh, education. The main, uh, of course, main main, uh, minist main ministry is the Ministry of Education, uh, of course. Uh, but that regarding the MOOC, uh, those three uh, ministries are. Uh, in some sense, uh, very uh, much related. And uh, the one uh, typical uh, policy I would, I would like to uh, introduce is the uh, roundtable meeting, meeting on development of human resource, human resources engaging science and technology field. Uh, it's uh, the, uh, uh, conducted by two uh, ministries of three, MEXT and uh, METI. Uh, background of this uh, uh, policy, uh, there are many uh, uh, programs uh, related to the uh, human resources uh, 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 engaging mm, technology, uh, human, uh, science and technology uh, field. Uh, three major issues. First one is the uh, uh, big gap between the academia and industry in terms of the uh, 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 
uh, education program or uh, required skill they uh, think each other. And the second one is the, uh, uh, the recruitment of a postdoctoral person for the uh, industry. And the third one is the, uh, uh, so how can they uh, promote the younger generation's uh, uh, opinion, younger generation's uh, willingness for the uh, uh, science and s scientists and the technologists, technologists. Uh, th this uh, program, a roundtable meeting, uh, it, it consists of the uh, uh, represent representative of from uh, some uh, organization uh, of the uh, industry from the industry, uh, many uh, big industries, uh, many organizations. Uh, a representative of the uh, economy and industry field, uh, like uh, I'm not sure what the uh, actual name in the, uh, English, but uh, Kei Dan Len and uh, uh, Shoko Kagisho and Sam. Uh, each representative from main uh, those uh, development uh, main those organizations or the members, and from the academia. Also, uh, the uh, uh, representative organization of the uh, national universities and the organization uh, of the private universities and uh, organization for the high schools. And though they, they are uh, discussed, they were discussing about the uh, three, those three issues I mentioned. And uh, this program is. Uh, uh, started from uh, 2015, just a two years program, uh, 2015 and 2016, uh, they were discussed. And uh, from the 2017, uh, actually, uh, the, from this April, uh, it shifted to the uh, actual action program to uh, improve the uh, 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 some problems uh, discussed in two years. And uh, in that uh, <coughs> action program, some uh, some of uh, very much in, uh, related to the uh, uh, using a book. And uh, we, uh, JMUC, now uh, uh, announced the, the uh, our initiative uh, to cooperate this policy. And the real program uh, we developed the uh, courses for the uh, this kind of uh, resource uh, development, human resource development. Uh, science and technology uh, uh, field. So now, from this uh, year, uh, we will uh, deliver a basic course for uh, technology uh, field. Uh, so uh, machinery and uh, electronics Period first. Now we are now uh, planning to deliver uh, 12 courses uh, on those uh, machinery and uh, electronics fields uh, courses. And the next year we will uh, deliver more, uh, maybe uh, from 10 to 15. Uh, courses, uh, mainly from 
information technologies, and uh, chemistry. Uh, this, those programs are for the uh, person who engaged in the uh, related works in industry, uh, private sectors. Uh, from uh, the, according to our survey, uh, these, uh, we uh, carried out for the uh, young, uh, young uh, engineers uh, working for uh, big uh, companies related to the uh, make, uh, industry, uh, like uh, electronics, and uh, heavy industry. There are many uh, persons who made the uh, remedial uh, study after the uh, graduation. So uh, we uh, clarified the uh, big, big demands for uh, young engineers uh, to uh, run more about the basic, uh, more to improve the basic skills uh, related to the uh, uh, such kind of a technology. It's our uh, activity related to the uh, government's policy uh, uh, regarding the uh, using MOOC. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor uh, Yoshimi Fukuhara. I actually try to summarize each speaker's um, presentation, as you can see on the screen. I'm not quite sure if I got everything right. Uh, if not, please. Uh, let me know. I will try to correct this so we, we will have at least a summarize of the presentations um, to take home. Okay. Have you to that file? Yes, sir. I, I will share this one. How about this? I will um, share to the same link as yesterday. You, you still have the same link yesterday? Okay. I will move this one to the same link. Okay. And uh, the name of this document will be uh, expert forum on national MOOC. Okay, expert forum on national MOOC. Please give me a few minutes. I will move this one to that folder. Right now, um, we have heard uh, from Japan MOOC. Now, um, may I please invite Professor So to give the same uh, presentation concepts on Korea MOOC? Thank you. Do you use this one or? Good morning. Uh, during the uh, waiting for the transition, may I ask Professor for your presentation, please? Uh, you mentioned about uh, move, moving forward of the MOOC in the field of the heavy industry, uh, IT, kind of that. So is, is there any uh, challenge or any problem in offer this kind of uh, science and technology into a MOOC? Is there any problem? Uh, there are some problems. <laughs> One is the uh, uh, how can we uh, recruit the uh, uh, right person, right lecturer to uh, create such kind of uh, MOOC, uh, just uh, geared for the uh, demands for the industry fields. Uh, this th th that is the uh, uh, one aspect of the roundtable meeting are facing. So the gap from on the from, uh, gap between academia and industry. So there are some so many uh, Jap uh, many university lecturers uh, don't re uh, recognize the uh, uh, real uh, demands, real needs in the industry field. So it's very difficult to uh, create uh, the uh, MOOC contents uh, very much uh, uh, suit geared for the uh, industry fields uh, person. 
So we conducted to the uh, uh, creating, we, JMUC, created, uh, creating, uh, JMUC conducting the uh, development of the MOOC. Uh, so uh, generally, the uh, courses from MOOC is, uh, we are not, uh, 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 all, all of the uh, courses uh, uh, delivered so far is uh, uh, under the uh, university's initiative. We are not uh, 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 contact them, just uh, their initiative, they are uh, thinking about the contents. But uh, <coughs> this kind of things are it's very imp uh, difficult for uh, such a uh, uh, university initiative. So we are, have to uh, control the uh, uh, content itself. It's a the very <laughs> big uh, issues uh, we are now facing on. And then, uh, you mentioned that uh, it is under the university initiative. So meaning that uh, this one are also certified by the university, right? So meaning that the, if the learner learn from this MOOC, they can make use from that particular certificate or kind of, is, is it the certificate or is it a degree program? Uh, actually, it's the, not, not the official certificate or an official credit, but uh, we uh, uh, offer the uh, uh, JMOOC certificate. Yes. Good morning. Yes. Uh, my name is Sanju Song. Uh, I have oh. two questions. Sorry. Just asking for two questions. Uh, the first question is on the, what are the strategy that you plan to use to choose the courses? I, I, you say that you have like 10 to 15 courses next okay. year. Right? Okay. Okay. What, what are the strategy? That's the first question. And the second question about the certificate is based on the course or the whole thing that you can offer. Uh, first question, answer for the first question. Uh, uh, we made a survey for the uh, uh, actual uh, engineers working for the industry. So the, 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 we uh, selected the uh, courses uh, based on the uh, result of the survey. And the uh, answer for the uh, second question. Uh, for this uh, courses, uh, we uh, offer the uh, small batch for small uh, for each unit, and uh, uh, the some uh, total uh, batches we offer the uh, uh, certificate total certificate. Mm -hmm. Right, right. I think if no more question, may I please invite Professor So to, to begin his presentation. Thank you. Yes. Good morning. Uh, my name is Sonja So, and I am the director of the Office of, of KMOOC Planning. And also, I am the in charge of Office of uh, Public Relations and International Affairs at the National Institute for Lifelong Education. Uh, first, I just briefly mention about uh, the National Institute for Lifelong Education in Korea. So the NIL uh, was established in 2008 with legal basis in Lifelong Education Act, uh, which mandates establishment of a national institution in charge of lifelong learning. And also the NIL is government affiliated ad agency. So the Ministry of Education uh, actually supervise our whole programs and implementations. And we have uh, major uh, programs, uh, support for adult literacy education. The second is academic uh, credit bank system. And thirdly, education support for multicultural students. And national lifelong learning information platform. We, we established and we are running that platform. And of course, KMOOC service in operation. And also, we have uh, support uh, adult education through higher education institutions programs. And also, we have uh, 
sponsor the parental uh, parental uh, guiding uh, something education for uh, students yes so now look at the key look yes first uh, the reason w the Korean government introduced the MOOC to the Korean is first one is uh, they tried to like innovate uh, teaching learning method in high higher education and second is uh, already around 2013 I think uh, before 2013 in the United States the edX and Coursera and Udacity uh, had had launched it and globally like uh, MOOC is like explosively like boom so uh, the Korean government they I, I, I think they thought uh, we need to introduce like a most updated <laughs> ICT based uh, teaching and learning method so uh, proactive stance against the international proliferation of MOOCs and thirdly uh, through ICT based uh, uh, teaching and learning so we can realize the equal opportunities for higher education so he, Korea uh, due to the economic like uh, income polarizations like poverty so the education opportunities gap is widening widening so maybe ICT based uh, education can reduce the widening education gaps in Korea and finally uh, establishing a foundation for lifelong learning in the era of homo hundred the Korean society already has entered the aged society so we lack uh, labor force so uh, ICT based education can be uh, like a channel for them so this is the four uh, backgrounds uh, for introducing KMOOC and next one is uh, this is our strategies and goals of KMOOC the vision is innovation in college education through open higher education systems and policy goals is innovation in college education through access to best quality lectures and second offering higher education opportunities more evenly and forming a foundation for lifelong learning on higher education and in order to achieve those policy goals we have uh, four strategies the first one is annual expansion of participating institutions actually four-year uh, university and after developing it uh, came as a comp competent leading brand so uh, in 2015 we chose we choose we chose uh, 10 leading universities in Korea so at that time we say like a best lecture excellent universities and best lecture something like that we make kind of like a brand so KMOOC is highly uh, highly like respected universities in Korea and also faculty members in in those universities they gave they give their best lectures to the Korean people so that, that kind of like a branding strategy and also uh, we provide uh, around uh, $50,000 US dollars per one courses one course $50,000 yeah uh, per course so usually if the uh, university is selected as a participating university uh, we provide we support uh, two courses by providing uh, around around a hundred uh, thousand US dollars so each course can get uh, 50,000 US dollars so five thousand uh, fifty thousand dollars consists of two sectors one is contents development and the other one is uh, operating uh, fund usually for t teaching assistant TA so 
each universities at, at the first stage they get around uh, as I said before a hundred thousand dollars per year yes for uh, developing and operating two courses yes so our uh, like a fund is quite small compared to other state uh, funded programs <laughs> In Korea, we have kind of like industrial academic uh, state-funded uh, or state-sponsored uh, like a academic and industrial programs. We have many. Uh, if uh, a if uh, a university uh, selected as a participating uni university of that program, academic and industrial like uh, programs, they they usually get. Uh, I think average uh, at least I think a uh, million dollars per year. So compared to that, the, those programs, the KMOOC, this fund is very small. So we have to have kind of uh, strategies of respecting participating universities' autonomy and diversity. Otherwise, they do not have any incentive to participate in the KMO program. So we try to respect their autonomy and diversity. It's quite practical and realistic approach. And the third, consider considering to offer additional service by stage by stage after forming a firm foundation through government support. So I don't know how long will the government support last? I don't know, but still uh, in, initial, in initial stage, the government uh, support fully. And then I think if we have some like uh, foundations and then maybe the government like uh, they will face out their support. Uh, this is also is quite realistic approaches because uh, if uh, university, they uh, develop and upload their contents on our KM platforms. If we develop some kind of business mo models, uh, in other words, if the university can, they can get some profit from our uh, platforms r running their contents, maybe they get some revenue. Yes, yes, in the future, yes, not now, yeah. And also, finally, uh, we are going to first we, we provide a domestic service, and then on the basis on on that uh, achievement, we will globalize our KMOOC platform. KMOOC. This is our strategy and goals, and this is a implementation structure, delivery structure. So the our target audience is general citizens, citizens and providers universities selected publicly selected by uh, selected by like kind of evaluation process so initially we have 10 uh, leading universities in korea and also we have uh, we select uh, nine uh, KSW, uh open courseware so initially, we have 27 courses on our KMOOC platforms. And of course, the Ministry of Education, they supervise all of the KMOOC platform. And then the Nile, uh, we construct and operate the shared platform and contents and quality management, uh, and et cetera. And so of course, the uh, National uh, Korean, Nas Korean Council for University Education, they they cooperate with us. And also the EVS uh, education broadcasting system they support uh, in terms of uh, learning materials. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. And this is a kind of a strategic uh, roadmap. So 2015 to 2017 uh, introduced KMOOC platform and then stabilize, consolidate, consolidate the Consolidate our service, 
in the 2018 to 2020, uh, we are going to globalize and create added value. That means that might they, that may means uh, we are introduce a kind of a business model, profit models, and 20. 2021 20, 20, onwards, uh, we, we like a construction of open higher education systems, and thereby laying uh, laying the foundation for lifelong learning systems in Korea. And this is uh, like an ecosystem, so every stakeholders get uh, some benefits from the KMO. So I I just specify their benefits, what what benefits they can get from. Uh, participating from came up and this is uh, also the potential impacts and contributions uh, so in two 2015 October 2015 we officially launched our platforms and our programs and then this year here <coughs> uh, this is th this data is a little bit out of date uh, currently, less dis as of uh, last December, around 2 million, 13 something people uh, visited our platforms. And around, I think, 170,000 uh, people uh, enrolled the course. And around uh, the director chain, how many people they finished, complete their courses? Nine million. Nine, ninety, a, 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 eighty something. They they finished their course. And this is uh, no, not just uh, this kind of half half here. We will check it again. Yeah, so. And this is our uh, website, uh, but uh, recently we renewal our home pages. So um, I, I think the director chair in the afternoon will show the newly, newly designed our homepage. You know? This is uh, initially 27 uh, courses on our website. Here is the list of the courses offered in 2015. So 27 courses uh, by 10 universities. The, the Gyeonggi, Korea, Busan National University, Seoul National University, Songgyeonggwan, Yonsei, Ihua Women's, Postec, Kaist, and Hanyang University. They are uh, the leading universities in Korea. So, uh, as I said before, the initial stage, uh, the Ministry of Education and Nile has kind of branding strategy using this kind of excellency and best. Uh, mostly, mostly twenties uh, and thirties and early forties, but still, uh, I think uh, significant uh, amounts of the percentage of peoples are from over sixties. Yes, and also uh, from last year. We developed, uh, we have kind of area specific courses we develop. Because uh, if we leave the whole contents development to the universities, they usually develop their own existing courses. They just offline courses convert into online courses. So we need to, like, uh, we need to have some kind of a strategic approach to course development. So we designated some several universities to develop uh, the course that the government or Nile or the, our society wants, needs. So last year we developed uh, seven courses. Yes, of course. Uh, developed by Song Gyeonggwan and Yonsei, Seoul National University and Postec and uh, KAIST, reading universities and academies. I think that as for the platform, 
in the afternoon, Director Che will talk about the platform side. So uh, I just skip uh, this one is also yes. You you have I think a quiz and Q and A and assignments assessment and discussion class uh, discussions. In other words, a discussion forum. Yes. 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 And this is a caption. All courses uh, have ca captions in English. Most of not ninety five not ninety five percent of co all courses have English captions. So foreigners can access to our uh, book course. But the quiz and assignment, as assessment and class uh, discussions are provided by, provided in Korean. So maybe in this, from this year, maybe we can uh, provide the English service, maybe. Uh, I think as that respect, I think also the director chair can Touch, touch it. When we have a kind of like a uh, as a complement for online courses, we offered all prime meetings. So we ask uh, the participating university to have some all prime, like a face-to-face -face meeting with uh, the students and professors, instructors. So it can help the learners. Uh, communicate with uh, the professors in charge of specific courses and then get uh, direct feedback from the court professors so it I think it, it may more effective and this is a uh, the case of uh, credit recognition uh, the Ihua women's universities uh, Iwa, uh, some courses uh, provided by the Iwa Women's Universities, the students uh, attending enroll, uh, registered with this course, they can get a credit from the university. So here, uh, just look at that uh, right uh, below corners. Evaluations based on quizzes, 40%. And midterm offline examination is 30%. And the final offline examination, 30%. So on the basis of that, those, uh, the instructors evaluate uh, students' performance on his courses. And students get, uh, if, the, if a student get over, like, for example, 70% of the point, he can get court credit if failed below below 70s he, he cannot so to complete the courses uh, students must complete all the classes and have a passing average of 60% yes in this case 50 per 60% or better more in the midterm and final exams so this is kind of uh, it depends on the uh, uh, on the universities, but usually they have their own like uh, systems, yes, evaluation system. I will I will give you this, uh, and also if if a learner has finished that course, uh, they can get a certificate of completion. So based on each course. Uh, currently, we do not have the kind of like uh, accumulating the credits that the learners get from the KMOOCs we don't, we don't have. But uh, maybe this year or next year, we will have that kind of systems. Because Nile has a credit bank system, so we can easily adopt that kind of uh, accreditation system. So uh, that's no big deal, I think. Just the Ministry of Education, they decide we can design yeah. No, not now. Not now. Uh, here is the on the left side, the below the Seoul National University, the issuer. Yeah. But if we like, a, uh, if we introduce the credit uh, bank systems, maybe I think uh, 
the learners who finish uh, a, a certain course of KMOOC, they can get a uh, degree from the Ministry of Education, I think, in, in the future. And also, there's uh, quality control issues. I, I, will, I, I think the Professor Lim and Director Che will uh, briefly uh, talk about that. This is an outcome is we don't need to. Last week, I looked through the, the program of this workshop. <laughs> I noticed some points, so I prepared. Uh, yes, uh, we have some challenges. The first one is we need uh, like a constant financial and technical investment. We still need. And also, we have had uh, difficulties in securing high quality contents, courses. And also, we have uh, copyright issues, still we have. And also, uh, sustainability, so we need to develop the business model. And maybe I think this one we, we need to share. This one. Uh, this table shows uh, last year we select, publicly select the participating universities using these indicators. The first one is uh, criteria is uh, the participating universities, they have strategic visions and also implementation structure and institutional competence. And they have a competence of course development. So they, they have to write the course development plans. And the, we, we evaluate those things. And the final, finally, course management plan. So they have to hand in the course management pl plan. So we evaluate those three areas. So each, uh, each indicator has uh, kind of weighted points. So total uh, 100 points. I think the, in the case of Thai MOOC, you don't need this kind of uh, assessment shit, I think. You have already formed a consor consortium, right? Yeah. But still, uh, through this uh, evaluation set, you can uh, you can know the, like a preparedness of the participating uh, universities, so it may I think use, it may be useful for <laughs> time of here. And this is also uh, KMOOC, The contents providers divided into two. The first one is publicly we choose we select participating universities, and the other uh, track is. Uh, as I mentioned before, the Korean government, the Minister of Education, they support uh, the universities, uh, such as like a, a academic and industrial uh, programs, link linkage programs. So, if a, a university, do, do, those universities who with, which participate in the state-sponsored or state-funded. Uh, industrial and academic uh, linked programs. If they develop the KMO course, they can get some benefits from the and, uh, year end evaluations. So we can get uh, two tracks from, from our. Uh, we can we can we get our uh, contents from the two tracks. One is participating universities, and the other is state funded financial support for university project like that. So this year we have now uh, around 146 uh, contents in our platforms now. And this year maybe we have uh, add uh, about 100 contents more. This is our annual, annual schedule for university selection process. And also, 
Uh, I just showed the examples of credit recognition models. The Yihua Women's Universities, uh, they provide four courses, and three cre credits can be recognized by completing these four courses. The main subject uh, who give credit is university itself. And Korea University also uh, provide two courses, and then if the students, learners who finish uh, these two courses can get six credits. Uh, each course has three credits. And Seoul National University, they, they, uh, here is course usage. They usually, they mostly they uh, provide their contents in flipped learning uh, model. So then each course has its own standard, evaluation standard, but in general, grades are given on the basis of quiz, discussion, mid or final exams. This is a, it's kind of like an ideal uh, model of book-based uh, credit recognition model. So this is just for your reference. It's the same, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor. So for very informative um, information in a very short time. And I really appreciate you will kindly share the slide with us. So that, that will be very useful to all of us. Um, Actually, uh, we have more policy issues, but uh, I do not uh, cover all of this. If you have, if, if you have a question, I will answer that uh, many policy issues. We should have one more day. <laughs> Two more days. OK. Um, any questions, please? A quick question, oh, please. Thank you very much, Professor Su. Actually, I am interested in the topic of the faculty development. So I saw on your strategy on that, that maybe two or three slides that you present. Do you have some kind of the activity that do support for the faculty development for your beginning <laughs> of the uh, KMO? Wow, you, you, you are pointing our weakness. <laughs> yes, uh, but from this year, we strengthen the instructor, uh, instructor's education. Uh, the Professor Lee will talk about a little bit about that, right? No? <laughs> he will, yes. Uh, if we finish the sol uh, public, uh, public uh, selecting process uh, this year, only this year, maybe end of March, uh, after end of March, we make agreement with the participating universities and then we start the, uh, education and training for instructors and professors about uh, course design and course uh, making some curriculum. Last year, the year before, we don't have that kind of uh, uh, training or education sessions, but from this year, we will strengthen our role So all the, the program for the faculty development that you that be belong to the KMOOC project, right? Yes, yes. Mm. And actually, for of course, the, last yeah. year we did some uh, did some education and training sessions for instructors and staff members and TAs, but still we uh, the pro the, we, we are kind of lack of the program. So from this year we stronger, strengthen more. Yes. Uh, I have one question. That, uh, are there an, any uh, indicators uh, for you for the, the staff development? Indicator in... Uh, for staff, so, staff development? Yes, yeah, staff re development to know that we are going to be success in the future like that. We, we haven't yet, yeah, we haven't yet. But usually we, have, we, 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 de, we do some kind of survey of their satisfaction and through the, this education sessions, what they learn and what they need more from our programs or from uh, KMOOC office.
thank you for your presentation, Dr. Su. I I curious to know that about the uh, brain learning yeah. or brain de brain de learning that uh, you mentioned that some university and yeah. some courses yeah. use the MOOC course yeah. branded with the face-to-face -face classroom course. Yeah. Do you have any regulation from the Ministry of Education that how many, how how much of the proportion of the the online? Uh, the online. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As far as I know, the around 20 percent yes no more than 20 percent i think yes I, I, uh, I think last year i think the minister of education they they uh, revise the existing law so permitting uh, 20 percent of the like uh, the credits during the, the undergraduate course yes you mean the whole program right the undergraduate program, four years program, yeah. they allow 20%. Yes, 20%, I think. So maybe some courses are learning totally online. Mm -hmm. you are, you are yes, to totally online course. Yes. Yeah, it's, you allow? Yes. Okay, that's very, very interesting. But the, <laughs> the problem is authentication. Yeah, so uh, the, in the case of EY Women's University, they, uh, in the mid term and final term, the students they have to attend the class and then take the exams. Otherwise, uh, they cannot get the credit. And uh, for the application, uh, when you mention the credit recognition yeah. course, yeah. Uh, do you allow do, do they allow other university students to mm, learn? Not and now, but the Seoul National University and Postec and KAIST. They have made, they, they made an agreement about using the MOOC course. So uh, they, they, they can, like a credit transfers, credit exchange is possible. So among three universities. So they designated uh, some courses. If Seoul National University students are uh, registered with the post courses, they can get credit because of their agreement reciprocal agreement. So whether to give credit or not, uh, it depends on the university themselves. I, I have a short question, just a quick one, sorry. Uh, you mentioned at the beginning that the uh, MOOC can offer the higher education to fill the gap of the higher education to the people. Yeah. So the, is there still a gap of higher education in Korea? Yes, we, we still have, yes. Oh, Many, still have. Mo, I think most, of peop, most people, they can go to the university, but still other, other people, they can, cannot. They first, they got job, and then they want to study. Another point is that you mentioned about the, you create the National Lifelong Learning Platform. So that one already kicked off, right? Yes, we, mm -hmm. we are. We, we just, the director chair, uh, he knows very, knows it very well. Little bit on platform, yes. Uh, oh, how, how to say in English? Ever, ever learning platform or the little bit on the other one? Lifelong, lifelong learning platform, yes. Uh, one keyword that you saying is about the you have form a foundation for lifelong learning. So is this a, a foundation or what? It's, it's, it's foundation means it's kind of like a base, base basis. Yes. Last question yeah. is you mentioned about the domestic service into the global, yeah. uh, a global uh, scenario or kind of. So what do you mean domestic services? First, uh, the major target of our KMO is the domestic audiences. But you know, the Korean uh, education market is small. So we developed the uh, more foreign uh, learners, uh, like uh, foreign learners friendly courses. Maybe we can globalize our KMO service. Because the Thai MOOC, as far as I know, you are going to develop some Thai studies. 
and Thai languages, something like that. Especially, and also you focused on hospitality and tourism areas. So I think those areas are very strong, right? So the team also finds, will identify what area uh, the Korea has like a strength. So on the basis of um, open that uh, maybe research or whatever, we will develop uh, global oriented courses such as like a Korean language course and Korean economic development courses, something like that. Yeah. No more questions? No more? Okay, give him a big hand. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor. And uh, lastly, for this uh, first session, may I please invite Dr. Anushai to, uh, for the policy on Thai MOOC, please. Thank you. Um, we are a little behind now. Not little, quite a lot. So please allow me to bring the break inside the room so you can enjoy your coffee and some snack inside the room. Thank you. <laughs>